All right, we're going to be making a sketchbook, but this is a special sketchbook. All of the pages are attached. That's called an accordion style sketchbook. No staples, just a little bit of glue and some paper folding. You're gonna need to get four of these really long pieces of paper that I have cut for you. You're gonna need to get four of them. One, two, three, four. And once you have all four of your papers, you're gonna stack them up very nice and straight and turn it tall ways so it looks like a skyscraper. Stack it up nice and straight, straight as you can. And what you're gonna do is you are going to give this stack of papers a foot. I know that sounds funny, but at the same time, you're gonna grab all of these papers and fold up a little crease on the edge. So now they all have this little foot. We're gonna call it a foot, okay? Then what you can do is one at a time, take your scissors and score the edge of that so that it's nice and flat, okay? I think we have scored before using the side of our scissors. That just makes sure that that crease is really creased. Okay, I have creased and scored all of my little feet on my papers. Um, if your foot is a little bit bigger, that's okay. Um, but I think the smaller the better because then you'll end up with more paper in your sketchbook. Um, so one at a time, you can put three aside and we're just gonna do one at a time. You are going to leave this little foot folded in half or folded down here at the bottom. And then what you're going to do is you are going to take this paper and fold it in half. Remember, you're leaving that foot tucked behind there and folding this paper in half as nice and straight as you can. Okay, and then you'll also take your scissors and score that side. All right, once you have that folded in half and your little foot is still tucked underneath, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have the crease where it's folded on the right side and the open part on the left side. And then you're gonna take the top and fold it back to the crease on the right side. Try and line it up really nice and straight. And then you can crease it like this. And you can use your scissors to score that as well. Okay, then you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna make this side go all the way to the crease. My paper is a little bit wrinkled, but that's okay. Hopefully yours will not be wrinkled like mine. You can take your scissors and score that. And so now what you have is part of your accordion. No staples, just folds and your foot. So I'm gonna do it one more time so you can see exactly how I did that. You're gonna take your long piece of paper that has the folded foot. You're gonna keep that foot folded in and fold this paper in half. You're gonna try and line it up really nice and straight. Take your time. Fold this. Use your scissors to score it using that side of your scissors to score it. Okay, so now you have the crease over here and the fold over here, tucked underneath. You're gonna take that foot and it's gonna line up with your crease. You want it to be nice and straight. You can hold that and then flatten it out. Take your scissors, score it. Flip it over, fold this side back. So you are going to do that for all four of your papers. All right, the last step of making this accordion sketchbook is going to be to glue all of those pieces together. Um, it would make the most sense to use a glue stick, but um, the glue sticks don't hold up as well. They'll um, end up making your sketchbook fall apart, so we're not going to use a glue stick. So that means that we're going to have to use liquid glue, um, and it's very, 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 very important that you don't use a lot of liquid glue. So let me show you. What you're going to do is you're going to attach these two pieces into one piece. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up one of the feet on one part, okay? So here's my foot, and just open it up a little bit. You're gonna take your liquid glue, and you're gonna squeeze lightly 
and draw a really thin line of glue. I'm squeezing that bottle very lightly. I'm not squeezing out as much glue as possible. Because what's gonna happen is if you have too much glue and it spills out everywhere, you're gonna have a sketchbook that's glued together and you won't be able to turn any of the pages. So once you have your line of glue on this foot, what you need to do is take your finger, I know, it's kinda gross, and smear it around just on that foot, okay? You'll have glue on your fingers, of course. What you can do is rub your hands together. No one's gonna be washing their hands because that doesn't really help to get the glue off. Rubbing your fingers together will get the glue off, though. All right, so I have glue on my foot. Now on this piece of paper, I'm not gonna put any glue. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna find the foot. So here's my foot on this paper. I wanna to go to the other side and open up this part. So the part that does not have a foot. That part is gonna go right next to your foot that you just glued, okay? So this side of my paper does not have a foot. I know it's creased right here. This side does not have a foot. I'm gonna lay it right next to my crease of my foot that has glue on it, okay? And then I'm gonna fold that foot over onto my blank paper and smooth it out. Okay, so now these are attached. And now I have a longer accordion. And then where it's glued, once it's dry, it should hold up a lot longer than if we were to use glue sticks. All right, so now I have two pieces glued together, but remember we folded up four pieces. So then what you can do is you're gonna do the same exact thing on your now, now this is looking like a book, okay? So on this guy, you'll open up that foot, hold your glue bottle very gently and squeeze out a tiny little line of glue, just like that. And I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer just in case you couldn't see it on the last one. Okay, really small amount of glue. We're gonna use your finger to kind of smooth it out, smear it all out so it goes on that foot. I'm gonna rub it on my hands. Okay, and then you're going to attach this paper, this little folded up booklet, into that foot. But remember, you're gonna find your foot of the paper you're gluing into it, and you're gonna use the other side. So you're not gonna glue a foot onto a foot, okay? You're gonna glue a foot onto a flat side, okay? So here's my flat, no foot. I'm gonna lay it right next to my foot that has the glue on it. And you also wanna try your best to line these up so it's not crooked like this. You want it to be nice and straight right next to the foot that has the glue. Then you can fold the foot over onto your flat paper that you put inside and smooth it out. Beautiful. All right, my book is getting a little bit bigger. And then you'll add your fourth one and then you'll be done.